Okay, everyone, here's a little bit more information about non-surgical treatment for ingrown toenails. Particularly when our patients are at home, they're going to be jumping out of their footwear or their enclosed footwear and into their sandals and thongs because it's going to take the pressure off. But when they are in their enclosed footwear, a, a, a deeper, a wider, maybe a longer toe box or shoe is going to put them in a much more comfortable position. If there is active inflammation and potential low grade infection, that's where you might be looking at some saline or water soaks just to try and help to decrease any of that bacterial burden. You know, getting through to your local podiatrist uh, or jumping through to have a bit of a further look at the podiatry conservative options of just excising that nail side and retraining how that nail, gr nail grows out is a really good conservative option. And a lot of people with ingrown toenails can have these fixed, particularly if they're a once off. When they've happened a fair few times, it may be that a surgical option's uh, a better option. But really, you know, that could be our first point of call for those um, that are, you know, particularly um, wanting to get back on their feet and stay on their feet in the shorter term um, to medium term as well. And that, you know, depending on the patient, could fix it uh, forever. It could fix it for, you know, four to six weeks, uh, or it could be, if it's a really bad one, potentially not resolve that pain. And that's where surgery may be a, a better option in this case. Um, you know, educating our patients about how to undertake proper nail cutting technique is important. That's straight across and not down into the deep um, sides or sulky, um, so that we're less likely to cause any leftover nail to become that ingrown toenail in the future. Um, but really checking the biomechanics as well, particularly for patients that have got a really nice abductory twist, um, you know, potentially more pronated or flatter in their foot position, they might be overloading some of the, uh, you know, the sides of their nails, causing some of this concern to be exacerbated of what's already happening. Um, if there is infection, then do consider um, antibiotics, getting on top of that sooner rather than later. But for, moment, uh, for the moment, this has been non-surgical treatments for ingrown toenails. Hit the uh, subscribe button uh, and look at some of our other videos uh, and we'll see you at the next session. Cheers.